Max is a junior at the New Canaan High School. He's kind of a quirky kid and uh, likes to stand out. And he's also very vocal and loves to argue. So for that reason, uh, in this experiment, I told them that except for giving their answers, they cannot say anything. Max didn't conform a single time, which didn't surprise me. A. This was Max's response the first time that the Confederates A. gave the wrong answer. A. A. B. A. As the experiment goes on, he loses a little confidence, but not enough to make him conform to the group. C. 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 B. A. A. C. Max's answers got noticeably quicker and quieter as we went along. Now as for why he didn't conform a single time to the group, the main answer that really applies here is that Max is one of the few teenagers that has reached identity achieved. He's not afraid to voice his opinion to people that he doesn't really know. Yeah, you know, I was getting it right. It's just that you people refuse to think for yourselves, and actually, you just, you just, you just pee in the garbage that uh, the other person right next to you said. <laughs>
Even though he does not seem convinced, he conforms to the group. B. Uh, B. 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 By trial 18, he seems so self-conscious or nervous that he... C. 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 Whoa, you skipped me! <laughs> C. 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 So did Doug conform because he was self-conscious about the kids around him? Yeah. <laughs> this kid was yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs>